This video was made possible through the support of my patrons. This video is also sponsored by Zavi. More on them later. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr Tardis and welcome to another Doctor Who Steelbook unboxing video and today we've got a double feature because over the past couple of weeks the BBC and Studio Canal have been redistributing the Peter Cushing 1960s Dalek movies. Both of them, uh, there was a BFI screening for Doctor Who and the Daleks and Dalek Invasion of Earth 2150 AD. Now these come in two different variants. I've got the Steelbooks but there's also the Collector's Editions which also comes with the 4K and the Blu-ray but you also get posters and booklets and things like that. I got the steelbook versions because, honestly, these are just going to be on a shelf. I have nowhere to really put the posters or the art cards, and also just the uniformity of all the other steelbooks in my collection. Now, before I unbox this, just a quick little backstory. I remember the Peter Cushing films uh, not only being like one of my first exposures to Doctor Who generally, like one of my first memories of the show, is when I was maybe like 10 or 11 years old on an Easter bank holiday and 2150 AD was broadcasting on the TV and I tuned in just at the scene when Susan and the other human survivor uh, were trying to sneak out of the cottage. They opened the blinds and the Daleks there to apprehend them. Forward or you will be exterminated! proper scary scene and then several years later I realised oh this is Doctor Who this brand new thing that I love and just before recording this video I checked in storage I checked in my DVD collection because I did back in 2005 buy the uh, double feature DVD release it's the red cover Peter Cushing's eyes are there as it was one of the very first Doctor Who DVDs I bought when I fell in love with the show back in 2005 I remember buying it on an early version of Amazon I ordered Remembrance of the Daleks on DVD and I ordered what I thought was the William Hartnell Dalek Invasion of Earth DVD, but no, it turned out that there was a mistake, or at least there was a misunderstanding on my end, and it was the Peter Cushing DVD instead. But hey, it all worked out, and there was plenty of bang for my buck in that case. So let's open this first one, uh, which should be Doctor Who and the Daleks. Now let's get this thing open, nearly there, here we go. And here we go, look at that, the first ever Doctor Who feature film, Doctor Who and the Daleks, starring Peter Cushing as Doctor Who, directed by Gordon Fleming. So to my knowledge, in terms of these steelbook sets, this is the very first time Doctor Who has gone on 4K. While Revolution of the Daleks back in 2021 was broadcast in 4K, I don't think you can actually get it on like a home media release in 4K at all, at least not at the moment. So yeah, 4K restoration of these big screen films. So let's have a look at the back here. Pure happiness in its celluloid form from Mark Gatiss. Uh, an out of this world new 4K restoration of Doctor Who and the Daleks starring British film legend Peter Cushing as everyone's favourite Time Lord. I do love the almost like comic strip artwork that they've done for these releases. Really bright, really vibrant and bold. And the Daleks with their multiple colours and their claws in the cover look so cool. Tell you what though, the colours look a bit muted on the cover while it's in the plastic film. So let's forever ruin the collector's value and get this thing open. Haha, <laughs> take that you scalpers. So I'm going to try my very, very best to try and preserve this cardboard sleeve, but uh, unlike the other Doctor Who Steelbook releases, this is not like one that uh, slots in. This is just uh, this is just resting on the back. So good luck preserving this, fools. Just as a point of comparison, here's the Evil of the Daleks Steelbook, and yeah, it's got a whole thing that it rests in, sits in. Uh, kind of, I, I guess it preserves it, more or less. But yeah, so I keep a hold of these, but I think for uh, for these steelbooks here, this is going to be significantly harder. There's the spine artwork there, Doctor Who and the Daleks, the Studio Canal logo. And we open up the steelbook, we get the full uh, two-page spread. Looking very, very cool, looking beautiful, and inside as well. So on the first disc here, we've got uh, uh, the comic strip uh, back cover that we saw with Peter Cushing. And you take the discs out, and you'll see that it is a production photo of Peter Cushing and Roberta Tovey surrounded by Daleks in the Dalek city of Scarrow. So let's return to this uh, back sleeve, though, and take a look at what the features are. So the brand new ones are the Dalek Legacy Destination Scar, 
Bizarro and restoring Doctor Who in 4K. There's audio commentary with uh, the Barbara and Susan actresses. There's audio commentary with critic Kim Newman, screenwriter, uh, writer Rob Sherman, friend of the live stream, friend of the channel, and actor slash writer Mark Gatiss. There's the Dalek Mania documentary, which was on, which was on the original DVD release, uh, interview with Gareth Owen, original trailer remastered for 2013 release, and a stills gallery. So before we dive into the second steelbook, I just want to take a moment to thank this video sponsor, Zavi. Now, Zavi, when it comes to steelbooks, are my go-to retailer in order to get steelbooks like these Doctor Who and the Dalek steelbook uh, versions here. Uh, it's also where I pre-order my other Doctor Who steelbooks, whether it be The Evil of the Daleks, Galaxy 4, the story that should never be named. Uh, I also get loads of other steelbooks from there as well that aren't Doctor Who related. I got the steelbook for Series 1 of Chucky. Uh, they recently did a 4K version of Inglorious Bastards. Uh, there's the new Guillermo del Toro movie, Nightmare Alley, which was absolutely terrific. Me and my wife love horror films, so getting the new Scream on Steelbook was a no-brainer. Spider-Man Far From Home, this is a Zavi exclusive one as well. Basically, Zavi are hands down the premier go-to Steelbook retailer, at least in the UK. They're my go-to choice, and I absolutely love the uh, limited edition versions of these films that they do. Zavi have been so supportive of my channel over the past couple of years, and they have a special offer for Mr. Tardis viewers. If you use the coupon code Mr. Tardis at checkout, you can get 10% off anything in store or if you wanted to buy clothing you can use that same Mr. Tidus coupon code to get 20% off all clothing. Just a heads up the code does not work for pre-orders but if you were to pre-order something on Zavi please consider using the affiliate link in the description below really really helps out my channel and helps to support it but yeah whether it's horror tv shows or film or Doctor Who make sure you check out Zavi for all of your steelbook or collector's edition needs they are my go-to shop and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. So with Doctor Who and the Daleks in the background here, let's unbox the next one, Dalek Invasion Earth 2150 AD. Let's get this bloody thing open. Da, 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 da. Ah, here we go. Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD, starring Peter Cushing as Doctor Who, directed by Gordon Fleming, another 4K release from Studio Canal. An exciting epic science fiction romp from critic Kim Newman, regenerated and out of this world 4K, Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD, directed by Gordon Fleming, stars Peter Cushing in his return to the big screen as British TV's most iconic sci-fi hero, and Doctor Who. So in terms of the special features, we've also got the Dalek Legacy Invasion Earth, restoring Doctor Who in 2022. Two. Audio commentary with Kim Newman, Rob Shearman, Mark Gatiss. The Dalek Mania documentary is across both releases. Interview with Gareth Owen, interview with Bernard Cribbins, who stars in this film as a PC... Uh, Tom Campbell. He's an absolute hoot in this story. He's really, really fun. Original trailer and a stills gallery. So let's unleash the vibrant comic colours and take it out of the plastic packaging. This one does not seem to want to be freed. Come on, let's get you out of here. Oh my goodness, is this welded shut? Here we go, let's go. Yes! Here we go. Yes, it looks so much better now that it's freed from the plastic. Once again, comes with another cardboard sleeve. I'm going to try my best to preserve those. But yeah, let's do the two-way spread. And there we go. We've got the Dalek saucer, at least the back of it on the left. There's the TARDIS that's caught under the rubble of a dilapidated London. No Sugar Puffs poster, though. That's a massive shame. And inside, we've got some more artwork of Peter Cushing as Doctor Who, a different angle of the Dalek saucer and the TARDIS there. And the image is a production still of of the Daleks uh, after being mowed down by that van uh, in the streets of London. So this release has been restored uh, in 4K. The BFI and Studio Canal have been across it. But if you're like me and you don't have a 4K player, rest assured you'll still be able to watch this as there is a Blu-ray version which has got the same restoration. It's just a slightly lower quality. So yeah, these are both absolutely gorgeous Steelbook releases. I can't wait to have them on my shelf alongside everything else. If I had to choose which artwork I think looked the best, I mean, they're consistent. Like, th these definitely do belong as a pair here. I think I prefer the Dalek Invasion Earth one. I don't know, I just think that with the Robo Men there and uh, the the, uh, the spiral background's a bit more dynamic than the stripes that you can see there. I think the posing of our main four is a bit more dynamic at the bottom. Both look really, really cool, but also with the back version as well, the TARDIS with the ship, it just looks a bit more interesting uh, than the deadly forest on the planet of Scarrow. At least that's just me. Let me know if you do have a preference uh, for which steelbook you uh, like the look of, or if you 
prefer both equally, or if you didn't get the Steelbook versions, you got the Collector's Editions versions. As for my thoughts on these films in general, I did a review of both of them for Dalek Semba. I'll put a link to that video on a title card or in the description as well. So I won't properly give my thoughts there. However, I think both films are terrific, but 2150 AD is not just great bank holiday viewing. I think it's better than the TV serial that inspired it. But that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing video of the Peter Cushing, Gordon Fleming, Dalek movies from the 60s and their respective Steelbook 4K releases. Be sure to hit that like button. It really, really helps me out. Subscribe for more unboxing videos in the future. Thanks to this video sponsor, Zavi, and I'll see you folks next time.